So today's topic is something that was brought up recently in a conversation that I had with my wife. Something that I actually think about a lot and we kind of had a good talk about it. So I, I thought I would feel out some of the same concepts here in talking with you. And it was on the topic of grace. Grace. So grace is something that um, I most often associate with religion, especially uh, Christian religions. There's this idea, and I may get this wrong because I'm not Christian, but there's basically this idea that um, in Christianity, since Jesus was sacrificed for people's sins, that now people have grace where, you know, they're inherently sinful, they do things wrong, blah, 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 but that's okay because of the sacrifice. So they have this grace where now those things not that they don't matter, but uh, they're forgiven in a way. Now, when I think about grace, I don't think about it in a uh, religious context. And in some ways, I have a, a little bit of a, not a negative opinion of the religious context of that, but I don't think that you need a higher power or some other being of any type to allow you that grace. And oftentimes in therapy or just in talking with people, I'm encouraging them to have that grace with themselves. And I think this is really, really important for people that struggle with mental health issues or people that are just having a hard time in general because we get really, really down on ourselves. We get really, really upset at ourselves. Uh, we can feel guilty about things. We can feel very frustrated and a lot of other negative emotions that go along with struggling. And there's sort of this second layer where you have the struggle that you're having, and then you have this judgment of that struggle. You have this judgment of yourself that just piles on, and it makes a cycle and makes it really hard to pull out of. And I think a lot of the progress that can be made on a personal level or when working with someone like a therapist is learning that you deserve to have some grace with yourself, just like you would extend to somebody else. You know, and I often do say that is, you know, think about a friend of yours, think about a loved one, think about a family member. And think about if they were going through what you're talking about right now. Think about if they were going through the same issues, if they were having the same problems, if they were in the same circumstance that was causing them difficulty, would you be as bad to them as you are to yourself? Would you be as mean, as judgmental, etc.? And the answer, you know, undoubtedly is no. Uh, I mean, very, very few cases would that be the case. You know, usually, no, you would not. You would have more grace with them. You would say, look, Yes, you're struggling. Yes, you're having this hard time, but that doesn't mean you're a bad person. And that doesn't imply anything larger about you. That means that you're struggling with this and that's it. And you still deserve to appreciate yourself. You still deserve to be appreciated by other people. Uh, and that doesn't make you bad. So I encourage people to have that same sort of grace with themselves. You know, understand that just because you may do something that you don't personally approve of, uh, maybe you feel guilty about something, or you're struggling with a circumstance that's popped up in your life, even if it's a long-term thing. That doesn't imply that you aren't a good person. That doesn't imply that there's anything wrong at your core. That means that you were having this issue or you're struggling with this thing, what have you. And if you can come to a place of having that grace with yourself and understanding that it's okay, it's okay to struggle, it's okay to have those things burden you, that doesn't mean that you're a bad person, you can alleviate some of the burden that holds you back. And really, I think that's that's fundamental because we get so stuck, uh, you know, being squeezed between the past and all those regrets and that baggage that we carry with us in the future with all those anticipations and the worries and the things that we don't have any control over. And the present moment gets squeezed out. And what we have is the present moment. We don't have anything else that we can work with. We can't change either of those other things. We can change right now and that's it. You can do the work, you can be here, you can be present, you could focus on what you have in front of you and that's all that you can do. So recognizing that, um, it can be really helpful because what we tend to do is we take all the stuff from the past, we throw it in this big backpack and like, you know, trudge along through our day with all of that there and then wonder why we're not moving very quickly. And just kind of trying to internalize this sense of grace for yourself, just like you would have for other people, may help you to take out some of the weight from that backpack. Leave it in the past where it belongs so that you can focus now on the immediate. And I think that is a very responsible thing to do. Leaving things in the past, kind of just letting it go, you know, in the rear view, isn't saying that you're denying that it happened. It's not refusing to take responsibility for it. It's not ignoring it. 
it's actually the more responsible thing to do because how else are you going to make progress right now? How else are you going to move forward if you have all that weight on you? You have to let that go. You have to let that fade in order to keep moving forward. So again, that is the responsible, that is the productive thing to do. So as you're going through your week, as you're going through your life, you know, in the next few days here, just consider that. Think about whether you are extending that grace to yourself, the same grace that you would extend to somebody else in your life. And if not, try it out. See what you can do there. See if maybe you can wear that hat and say, look, it's okay that I'm feeling this way. That doesn't mean anything broader than the fact that I am struggling with this. And see if that lightens your load up enough so that you can focus on the things that you do want to change, the things that you are working on right now.